So the other night we talked about using first in first out bottles for a really quick paint finish. 15 minutes, we're gonna paint this whole dresser. Squirt bottle, first in first out bottles with mermaid tail and mint chip from DIY paint and a paint pixie brush. All right, so Jamie has given me free reign with how the paint goes on, and then she's gonna blend it and squirt it up. So we'll see how it turns out. We're setting the timer out. now, 15 minutes. Squirt. Okay, squirt around the edge. Hey. Do what you want, but do what I say. <laughs> <laughs> That's how marriages work, right? Yep. You could leave it just like that. I think that looks awesome no, it's right a there. I was talking about the paint blend. Yeah. Funnest way to blend paints right here. <laughs> I'm squirting it with water to blend the paint a little bit. Now I'm evening out my brush strokes. Oop! Special finish, grab the brush. And I'm going nice and soft, not applying a ton of pressure. There's actually a lot of paint on here, maybe more than we needed, but I'm going to make it look nice and smooth. This is the big secret right here. You want to always be working on a flat surface as much as you can be. So we're just going to flip it. I feel like we're going to need more paint. More paint on this one? Oh, let's see. I'm standing by. I'm ready. You cannot do this and be a control freak. You gotta let the paint do what it wants. You gotta let the paint do the paint. That's right. Not washing the brush out in between anything. We're just going. Yeah, no, no, that would ruin it. Okay, I need a little bit of a more mint chip there. A little mint chip. Okay. Maybe a lot of mint chip. No, I think I got it. What I need is a squirt bottle now. Squirt bottle. Okay, we're gonna squirt it a lot, and then we're gonna flip it up. So we get a little bit of runs in our paint, and then some of our lines are blurred. You ready? Yeah. So we got it flipped up, and now it's dripping, and we're gonna let that go. We're gonna do the other side. Okay, so I'm going in with the mermaid tail. And this is a little harder, so where the tarp comes into play. Get it out. Running out. <laughs> All right, now Jamie's just going to go side to side so that we kind of match the ombre blended look that the front has. The paint's pretty wet and I'm just taking my brush and just kind of smoothing out so it's not like super dripified. If that's a word, dripified. It'll drip a little bit, but it's not gonna be anything like what it was just a second ago. I'll just let that blend down. That was fun, huh? Now we've got to do something that's not super fun, but definitely necessary for a smooth finish. I'm using 220 sandpaper on this sanding block only because 
it's so old it's lost all of its sanding worthiness but it works great to hold on here so if you don't have one of these you can also use just an actual block that's 220. I don't like to use coarser grits because I don't want to give it a super distressed look. I'm just looking to really just smooth out the finish with a light distressing. Then we'll be ready for some more squirt bottle. I know it's super bright and the color's off. We just waited too long and all of our shades gone, but we'll make sure at the end of this video to get really great pictures so that way you can see what the color truly is. When you run your hand over it, there's gonna be a little bit of texture, but it should be mostly smooth. All right, so I've got about six parts water to one part paint in here. It's all mixed up in my squirt bottle. I'm gonna squirt it on. Then I'm gonna come back with my water. And then I'm just going to smooth it in. My rag is dry, but I've re-wet the piece with a squirt bottle and that's helping me manipulate the paint. And it's okay if it drips a little bit. I kind of wanted to mimic the foam of the ocean. There's always white involved. And it's an easy way to whitewash. It kind of gets down in all the cracks and looks really cool. I look nice now that I brushed my hair with some lipstick on. You were looking good before. Thanks. All right, so we are all finished. We just need to clear wax it and put knobs on it. If you wanna know how to clear wax using DIY wax, we'll put the video right here. It's got all the ins and outs of waxing. We don't wanna bore you if you've already watched it, so, you know. It'll actually be up here. Oh, it'll be over there. <laughs> Um, I hope this uh, video shows you how quickly you can get a really pretty blended finish. The key is not too much water, but plenty of water and not putting too much pressure on your brush and making sure that you really smooth out your brush strokes. I feel like it's more about the uh, first in first out bottles. You did such a good job with those. He's like amazing. We're going to do more techniques using first in first out bottles in the same manner. It's a really quick way to get your paint on your piece. It's probably not like the professional way. I feel like we're going to sell it and that will make us professionals at it. Well, I've already sold a piece with the same technique. Yeah, so there you go. We're professionals. That's that's what a professional is, right? You make money at your profession. I was going to talk. Okay. What was I going to say? I have no idea. Oh, Zeb's going to post the Amazon link for those first in first out bottles so you can get some. Even if you don't want to do this technique, it's still an amazing way to keep your paint fresh and to make sure you're using the oldest paint first. Quick list of products used. First in first out bottles, mermaid tail, mint chip, white swan. I watered it down in my squirt bottle and then we're going to use clear wax. You can get all those products along with my paint pixie brush at jamierayvintage.com. Be sure to share this video with any of your friends who like DIY and painting furniture. Give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more DIY.